practice. Me again. You just carry the fuck up. Watch some more shit on YouTube. Where the fuck are we? I'm on the fucking homepage again. We've just watched a whole load of shit. Let's watch some more shit. What the fuck are we going to watch? Spider-Man. New fucking trailer. How, how's Spider-Man going to do better, bigger, 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 bigger than last time? Bigger explosions. No, we can't do bigger explosions. We've already done bigger explosions. What the fuck are we going to do? Make Spider-Man a woman. No, we can't make Spider-Man a woman because it's called Spider-Man. We're not that far. We're not that far in the future. We can't do that yet. Later. But what are we going to do for this movie if we can't do bigger explosions? I don't fucking know. Let's just put all the fucking villains in one movie. What the fuck do you mean? Everyone we've seen as a villain, let's stick them in one fucking movie. That'll be shit. Well, they're always shit, but does that matter? No, it doesn't fucking matter. All right, let's do that. Let's stick all the fucking villains in one fucking movie. Now, let's watch the new fucking trailer to see all the fucking villains in one fucking movie. Fuck, you know. Spider-Man is, in fact, Peter Parker. My entire life got screwed up. No shit, so did mine when I saw this fucking movie. Revealed my identity. You're not Peter Parker. I am so confused right now. Me too. To come through, but I can't stop it. The problem is all fixes. It's got Doctor Strange in it. Was that fucking it? Or oh, fucking great trailer that fucking was. The fuck happened? I don't even know. Doctor Strange though, it's a fucking good movie. It's a right movie. I don't think I like it that much. It's an alright movie. And I keep wanting to see a second Doctor Strange movie, but you don't fucking get one. They keep sticking Doctor Strange in other fucking movies. I don't want to see him in other fucking movies. I want to see him in his own fucking movie. Ooh, Banu, come back later, you bastard. Woo. Banu, what the fuck, Ubanu? You're a big geezer, but you can't do anything against Doctor Strange with his little dolly clock. You're fucked. Was that the fucking trailer though? What 30 fucking second trailer with fucking 15 seconds of fucking logos? What the fuck? Well, I suppose they're not ruining the film, but what the fuck? They always ruin films in the trailer by showing you too much. But we already know what the fuck's going to happen. Loads of big fucking light, lighty things going off all over the place. Explosions. Not that big though. We're not doing big explosions in this fucking movie. Villains. Lots of villains. Fucking wank. I ain't watching that. I'll watch it when it's like free somewhere or really poor quality when you shouldn't be watching it it should probably be where i watch it what the fuck no you can't watch pirated films you gotta go to the cinema pay 20 fucking pounds to watch a shitty fucking film in a smelly fucking cinema with loads of people dying of covid that's what you gotta do it's illegal to watch a pirated film but go to the cinema catch covid and die that's all right as long as we get your 20 quid what the fuck who the fuck are you? Is that the... What the fuck? Is that the school shooter? He looks about five years fucking old. I have to admit, I don't know anything about this new shooting thing. I don't know, it's all tragic. But what the fuck? This kid looks like five. Where the fuck did he get a gun? How old is he? What the fuck? Another student has died from their injuries in oh, yesterday's fuck. school shooting in Michigan, bringing the death toll to four. And here is the first photo of the young man charged with terrorism. What the fuck? That is the shooter. Murder. What the fuck? He's only 15. What the fuck? He's being charged as an adult. Oh, my God. Has fuck. He, what? Is he really the shooter? Am I getting this fucking wrong? Terrorism fuck? and first degree murder. He's only 15. 15. But he's being charged as an adult. It looks fine. Cogliano has more. He's the baby face, it baby face? school shooting, saying his prayers. He was arraigned today as an adult. That don't look like a safe photo. That photo looks old. Is that a really old photo? Zoom. I'm Jennifer Crumbly. James Crumbly. Ethan here. Fifteen year old Ethan Crumbly's father reportedly bought the gun used in the shooting. Oh my shootings, god, he is a young sour nine millimeter. Just Dad, you bought him a gun. The teen posted this photo of the weapon with the caption, just got my Oh, new what the fuck, Dad? Today. Student Isaac Dad, you're in trouble, I think. Oh, Dad, you're in trouble, suspect. man. The morning of the shooting. Mm. You look depressed, like, when you see him. That day or every day? Every day. Ah, uh, son, you look depressed. Today you look really depressed. In the midst of the uh, don't shooting. worry. I'm going to buy you a gun. Trying to persuade the students to open That'll the cheer door. up no end. But the savvy kids don't buy it. Now we're not willing to take that risk right now. I can't hear you. We're not taking that risk right now. Okay, well, to come to the door and look at my bag, bro. That does it. When they hear the word bro, they believe it's the shooter. He said bro. Red flag. They flee 
out a window and rush across a courtyard to safety. Slow down, you're fine. But Sheriff Michael Bouchard said today it wasn't the school shooter behind the door. How savvy, how smart were these kids to question this voice behind the door? Not this shit happens all the time. I'm not opening the fucking door. I'm not a crazy shooter. I open the fucking door. I'm not opening the door. Happens every fucking week over here. I'm not opening the door. Barricade the doors. I'm barricading the door. No, open the door. No, I'm barricading it. Police disarmed the 15-year-old shooter within five minutes. But Shit, what did they do? Trade it for a Pokemon card? Seven other Stop shooting people, I'll give you this lollipop. 16-year-old Tate Mir died what the fuck? trying to disarm What the fuck? The What's going to happen after all this? What's going to happen? Nothing. Countdown. Let me reset the clock. That's it. Let me reset the clock to zero. And that's all the fucking... What, 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 what can we do? Her grandmother Fuck, I don't know. information on Facebook. Please help. I don't know. What do you do? What do you do? Your sit, your, sit your kids down. Her. Sit your kids Sadly down. They don't Madison fucking shoot people. Victim. But if you're depressed, I'll buy a gun. Old. But don't she shoot people. The students have been given training in how to react in a school Just what we need. Including how to training. Training, training for these little kids for when a madman comes bursting into their schoolroom and says, I'm going to kill you all. Fuck. It's your fault, you parents. You legally bought a gun for your kid, which is completely legal, by the way, in America, I expect. But we're going to charge you anyway, because he turned out to be a real shitbag with it. Hey, what our fault, man? We told him to be nice. I didn't give him the bullets. Oh, oh, oh shit, you didn't buy him the bullets. You just bought him the gun. Oh, I'm going to give him really bad. It's all right, guys. Leave this guy alone. He only got him a gun. He didn't buy him any bullets. He's not stupid. Fuck. Well, what else are we going to watch? Because that was fucked up, wasn't it? That was some fucked up shit to watch. It's fucked up news out of the USA. What else we got? Interrogation. I say, I like the true crime. I love the true crime. But we won't go there because it gets a bit fucking boring. Especially if some cunt's out there watching me. Steve, subscribe. Six advanced sci-fi civilizations too stupid to really exist. I've seen that one, but it's good. I like those. They watch those. They're good. Behind the scenes of Squid Game. Now, I thought I watch that shit. Behind the scenes. Watching in front of the scenes was hard enough. 150 million people watched it. That means 150 million people liked it. Not saying I didn't like it, but I was neutral. Another PewDiePie video six months ago. We've got to stick to a PewDiePie. If I start keeping watching PewDiePie fucking videos, people think it's a fucking PewDiePie review channel. I don't give a fuck about PewDiePie. We'll watch something else. What's up with us? Let's go down, let's go down, let's go down the YouTube homepage. Let me look what we got. Yeah, it's pretty, I've been watching PewDiePie videos. Fucking PewDiePie keeps popping up. Videos I haven't watched, but fuck no, PewDiePie, fuck off. Leave me alone. PewDiePie can, fuck off PewDiePie. This bike proves it. Why well, does it prove it? People don't know how bikes work, all right? I don't know how a bike works, according to this video. I've been fucking riding my bike wrong. I've been riding it backwards. <laughs> the fuck? Most people don't know how bicycles actually work. You put your so feet on the pedal and you push. To prove it. They fuck with a bike that don't work Kiko. like a bike to More prove that people riding bikes wrong. What the fuck? This video was sponsored by KiwiCo. Oh, at the end of the show. oh, I'm looking forward to that. I love sponsors. Do you know what I mean? I fucking watch these videos with the fucking sponsors you're going to tell me about. You turn the handlebars to the left. Oh, it's this guy. It's, this is it's that math guy, the really clever guy. Is true. And it's He's going to bend my fucking here. mind because I'm not clever. He's got a radio controller that allows him to lock out the steering to one side. So what he's going to do is... Why the biking. fuck would you want to lock the steering to one side? This guy's fucking with your bicycles. Don't let this guy near your bike. He'll break the fucker. 11 million people are going to watch this fucking video. What the fuck? He's gonna pick 11 million people are going to think they're riding their the fucking left, bikes wrong. Right. You're not riding your fucking it. bike wrong. You're riding it right. Left turn. This guy's riding it wrong. He pulls the pin out. This guy don't know how to ride a bike. Fully steer. After I pulled the pin out, I've armed it. You've armed your bike. There's okay. where it locks. You've got a problem now here. The, the, that's when you fucking really hell, how do you arm a bike? Turn left. You're right, on your bike, bike right, you don't arm it before you get on it. I'm yeah, fuck. Left, I've been arming my I fucking can. bike. So the question is, can I successfully execute this left hand turn? Don't execute anything so give it a with your bike. Mean, he's not going to tell me whether it's left or right, so I have to look at the what LED the to know which guy? way I can still turn. 
Okay. You let me know when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> well done. It was a normal bike until I pressed this button. As soon as I pressed this button, you fucked. What the fuck is this video all about, man? What the fuck? If you look closely, you can see the problem. Here, I'm trying to turn right. Yes. But steering that way puts me off balance. Why? If you could ride this bicycle, you would find it's impossible to turn left without first steering right, and it's impossible to turn right without first You're steering You're bending my left. fucking mind, boy! This seems wrong. It's wrong, it's it wrong! You fucked with me a bike and it's wrong! By pointing the handlebars in the direction you want to go. I get what he's saying! That's how we ride our bikes wrong! Don't fucking, don't fucking steer it! In a straight fucking line, it's fine, but don't fucking steer it! As soon as you steer your bike, you're fucking it up! You're doing it wrong! If you want to turn your bike, you get off! Turn it in the direction you want to go, you get back on, and then you carry on! In a straight fucking line! Let's look! What? All right, boss. When you're riding a bike, it's exactly the same as what we call an inverted pendulum or balancing a, a broomstick on your hand. Away Are you me. telling me I've if been I balancing to broomsticks to on my hand wrong as well? Fuck! Do it. If I pull it backward, I can now start walking that way. Did he bring that broomstick with him just to demonstrate that point? You in the Ray Ray. Steve's always got so a broom. Can... Steve, why have you got a broom? Subscribe! And it's this, a unicycle. I was on a fucking forward, unicycle first now. You have to pedal back. Now let's just go on so fucking wheel. Forward, and then I haven't even got any fucking forward. handlebars now. Everything you're doing on a unicycle. I'm gonna fuck up steering if you haven't got any fucking handlebars. Is this if video going unicycle, somewhere? You do the apart from in a straight line with the pedals, and you do the lateral balance, the side to side, the same as you do with a bike. You essentially sort of a small counter steer to get that weight to get the contact patch out. It's really fucking interesting. Now, I should if I had a unicycle, I'd give, give it a go. Right, 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 right. Oh, right. managed it. But yeah, but don't turn left. Yeah, don't turn, turn left. I can't turn left. It's all right, I'm only going in a circle. What the fuck? Well, right? I mean, the wild takeaway is that steering is not just for turning the bike. That's fucking steering wild. Balancing. Exactly That's right. fucking wild. Why is it hard to balance on a stationary bike? The wheels aren't spinning, so there's no gyroscopic effect. Yes, yeah, so exactly what I thought. Even when going straight, you're constantly making small steering adjustments to maintain balance. So you're always you're fucked because you're never actually going straight. You never turn, you always go straight, but you're never actually going fucking straight. You're fucked. That's what, that's what, that's fucking got on side. What the fuck? without riders the fuck? stay upright, coasting indefinitely. I saw one the other day. Happens all the time. Bikes fly past me with no one on them all the time. I'm like, what the fuck? There's fucking bikes going indefinitely. But the bike still manages to absorb all these perturbations and remains stable. Just like in this demonstration of gyroscopic. Oh, it looks like he's having fun. The wheel stays upright. Things to do with your bicycle when you're not using it. Are stable. Watch what happens when we lock the handlebars completely. So you can only go straight. I'm going to guess. Lockdown, exactly lockdown. the same as what happened before. You're going to crush your bike. You crushed this fucking bike. Some people tried going really fast. Is that really fast? I don't think that's really fast. That's just trying to ride a bike. Others experiment. Normally. Extreme balancing techniques. I'm going to be an extreme balancer. No, I don't want no more. You're crushing this bike. Able to keep the bike upright for more than a that's few That's the seconds. best technique. Get a doctor right in front of you. Hey, who is that best one? That's what you it need. That's how you ride a bike. You get a doctor right in front of you. Steering this guy's a genius. The real reason bicycles are stable without riders is because they're cleverly designed to steer themselves. If What's the fuck? To one side, the handlebars turn in that direction. They're cleverly disguised in like fucking magic. Ooh, 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 ooh. What the fuck? are responsible for a bike's corrective steering. Bike will steer itself. The they make to steer itself. The You've been riding your bike wrong. Take your hands off the steering wheel. It will ride itself. Tell it where you want to go. Ground. It knows. If the bike starts leaning right, the force from the ground pushes the wheel to the right. The I'm confused. Why do I even need to know this shit? Science! But it doesn't keep the bike upright directly. It just helps steer. Yes. If you oh, you'll get all this. And you push down. I'm fucking not. Side. So what? Bikes are stable primarily because of steering. This guy keep riding his bike away. Fucking bike, go away. In fact, researchers created this weird-looking bicycle to prove a point. He's calling that bicycle weird. He was just sitting on a weirder one. Wheels above the wheels that touch the floor. Plus, there is no caster effect because the front wheel touches the floor in front. Of the ah, because of angles. It's all because of angles. It's made stable by its mass distribution. Understanding how bicycles work is still an active area of research. 
There is a program you can use to input what all the, the different fuck was all that? and see the range. He's just been talking for twenty minutes about how bicycles work. And this research and he has been to better we bikes. Don't know how this work. Prototype deer, keeping the bike upright even at low speeds. It's I guess got a fucking speed. autopilot. They're still learning new things about bicycles. You like my new bike? It's got autopilot. Most of us are able to ride one without any knowledge of how we're actually doing it. That was a really interesting video. Hey, this video was that I didn't understand at all. Creator of awesome hands-on products and toys. I'm trying to sell me something at the end of Cheeky Scally. Oh, we're trying to sell me a Kiwi Coke book. It's the perfect. All right, that was channel. That was channel. I can't even fucking say the channel name. Potassium? Uh, Potassium is trying to sell us a Kiwi Co book. As we just watched his fucking video, which went right over my fucking head, let's see what he's trying to sell us. Toys designed to expose kids to STEAM concepts. And with the holidays fast approaching, a Kiwi Co subscription is the perfect gift for any of the young people in your life. Kiwi Co now yes, has nine different it's Christmas. lines. Buy your kids something to do with STEAM. Topics. Plus, they ship to more the than fuck? 40 countries. I think it's such a great gift Steam? because each month a box turns up at your door and provides hours of entertainment and learning. My kids love building KiwiCo projects with me, a special thing we do together. And you can jump right in because each box comes with all the supplies you need, even a few extra oh, in case you lose it. Oh, fucking so. You know, today I built fucking. this water They're not going to see your box with none with of the, the bits in. Theme. The design and instructions <laughs> Build this, are so I'm not giving you any of the parts. This project is designed fucking by Kiwi experts Co. and tested with kids. There's also an educational magazine with lots of additional content around the crates theme. For viewers of this Shit. channel, keep it about a fucking kinder egg. Because each project is designed by experts and tested with kids. That must be a really fucking weird science lab. For the scientists and kids. What the fuck? For viewers of this channel, KiwiCo are offering 50% off your first month. Oh, of 50% off this bullshit. Lovely. I'm going to have to get one. put that link down in the description. So I want to thank KiwiCo for supporting Veritasium. Ah, Veritasium. Yeah, I did that right, I think. Oh, thank you very much. That's all right. I enjoyed watching. I'll give you a like. Now fuck off.